story started well over 40 years ago when Dr. Bauer came here as a trained nephrologist to start caring for patients with kidney disease in Mississippi in a new way. He was very active in the total care of his patients. When we would see a patient in the emergency department that belonged to Dr. Bauer, whether or not they had a medical problem directly pertaining to their renal disease, he wanted to know about it. It's a story of vision. It's a story of hope. It's a story of progress, and hopefully a story of impact in our state. The multidisciplinary approach that Dr. Bauer took to his dialysis patients is really what we call population health today. It's surprising to a lot of people that the key factors that drive health outcomes often are not related to clinical care. Uh, in fact, genetics and clinical care probably account for a minority of the factors that drive health. Uh, the things that really seem to have the biggest impact are factors related to health behaviors and socioeconomic status. Once you can predict who those people are, then you can target prevention and treatment programs specifically designed to improve their health outcomes. And then, of course, there's a need for ongoing monitoring uh, to see if these treatment and prevention efforts are being effective. So imagine a, a patient who comes to see their provider about hypertension. And uh, currently, they might get prescribed a standard of care. They'd leave, go home, come back, schedule a visit maybe six, nine months later to see if it's, if it's working. Now imagine if that patient instead goes home with the standard of care and their cell phone connects to their wireless blood pressure machine. And that blood pressure machine sends daily blood pressure readings back to the electronic health record so that the physician can help them track it. That physician, without any additional uh, visits from the patient, can send a, a new prescription to the pharmacist. The pharmacist can get it in that patient's hands, and now that six to nine month delay has been decreased dramatically. That is life-saving, and that is population health. Imagine if we could make the story a reality. Imagine a school where we could train the next generation of healthcare providers to understand deeply the social context of disease. Through the generosity of the Bauer Foundation, coupled with the vision of doctors Woodward and Beach, we are able to make this new school and this new future a reality. I feel so honored to be the founding dean of this new School of Population Health, which will include four departments, Population Health Science, Preventive Medicine, which will also be housed in the School of Medicine, Data Science, and Healthcare Economics. We are so excited that the new Department of Data Science will be housed in the School of Population Health. Data Science is built on strong foundations of statistics and computational programming, but at its heart, it's all about finding truth. Solving problems like, how do we cure disease better? How do we interact with patients better? How do we bring communities together to improve the health of the entire population? Data and evidence-based ways to solve those problems bring a fulfillment to medicine and an ability to affect others' lives in a positive way. There really are two foundations to preventive medicine. One is a focus on prevention. Uh, which distinguishes it from a lot of other aspects of medicine that tend to focus more on cure after disease is already present. But the other factor that really distinguishes preventive medicine is that it's always had a strong emphasis on populations. Whatever the context, preventive medicine ultimately focuses primarily on preserving and protecting the health of a population. This is a different way of thinking. It's a different approach to taking care of the patients. It is the right thing to do. This is a story that has the potential to fundamentally change what it means to be healthy, not only here in Mississippi, but across the world. Mississippi is unfortunately known for its healthcare disparities, but it's also known for its incredible stories and its fantastic storytellers. This is a story that will change the lives of so many Mississippians, and it's being written right here at the Bauer School of Population Health. I believe in what we're doing here in Mississippi. I believe in the School of Population Health. I believe that we will lead the nation in changing the educational format and that it will ultimately affect the health of our citizens. 
you will see a change in the health statistics in Mississippi within 10 years.